Hey there, it's Dr. Corey Gilbert, and I had a question from my um, inner circle group that a really important one. It was, I was sexually abused, so how do I protect my kids? My tendency is to be overprotective and to actually not want them to be exposed or experience anything because of what I went through. That is a very important question. I actually worked with so many couples where one of them, if not both, were sexually abused as children. And what I see is further damage in their own children, which is actually the last thing they wanted for their own kids. Either it's a missing of parts of the story or overprotection where they actually then sought out stuff, um, not sticking to the parents' rules. And so going outside of those fences that were put up or just a complete lack of regard. And so everything was fair game. And so, of course, they ended up in places that they shouldn't. As a mom and dad, especially with a history of abuse, we need to be even more intentional at thinking through and helping others vet some of our approaches because we're probably jaded. Honestly, that's that's the truth. We've been hurt, so our, our radar, if you will, and our tendencies are going to be not necessarily always the best. Um, the moms that I know that have been sexually abused as a child that are overprotective, their hearts are in the right place, but their methods actually tend to fail. So how to actually then let our kids grow and as they grow, set them free to make mistakes but within a little bit bigger boundaries than they were when they were a little younger and a little bigger and a little bigger. And allowing that space for them to mature is critical versus some families where, all right, you're 18. Now I'm going to take all the rules away. Go away. Go off into the world. Those kids fail almost every time. They're, they're overwhelmed. Um, a lot of times they don't even make it to 18 and the experiences they have in the dark and secret are uh, beyond those parents' imaginations. So don't protect your children. Yes, protect your children, but don't protect them in that way. Prepare them. Prepare your sons to be warriors and to be men that actually protect other people and actually protect women. Prepare your daughters to be fighters and to be feisty even, to protect themselves and to be protectors of others as well. Um, don't ignore it. Protect, yes, but prepare. That is a critical part of our raising up men and women who are then strong adult men and women. Because every little two and three year old is a future adult, a future mother, a future father. So prepare them to say no, prepare them to yell, to make a big noise if there's anything that's not to, not to um, default to silence. That's dangerous. So I hope you actually hear this and I hope you'll ask more questions because it's so critical as you prepare your children for what's to come, even the not so great stuff that could potentially happen, but may it not. Bless you. Hey there, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, there's more. I would love to actually talk to you um, and, and have more of a dialogue. And part of where you can do that is join my Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash The Healthy Marriage. Also, if you're interested, check out my podcast, The Warrior Marriage. This is all about you. This is about you, your marriage, your family, and that you fight for the things that matter. It starts with your marriage. It continues with your family and your children and who you are, your identity as a whole. This is so, so important. So fa uh, facebook.com slash group slash The Healthy Marriage. Join there and you can actually um, dialogue and ask more questions and we can get into some more detail um, to help you grow a healthy marriage. Fight for it. It's worth it.